Hello guys, uh, sorry about the last video cutting out at the end. Uh, I ran out of memory card on my uh, camera and I lost quite a bit of footage. So, sorry about that. Uh, but here, uh, we'll continue uh, to demo the circuit. Uh, we pretty much have described the operation of the circuit fully. And I think I made one mistake on the previous video where I said that uh, the voltage when the output, we want to set the output to zero, I said We'll set this to zero now this side is fixed this side is giving us a fixed gain at, uh, of the um, we getting a fixed gain of the 6.9 volts so basically translating it to be 16 volts here and we're just only tapping it off the pot is hooked up here and this this buffer amp here which drives the uh, the uh, uh, the series pass transistor is the one that taps the uh, off of this uh, pot here uh, so basically, it will tap from all the way from zero volts to uh, to sixteen volts, and I just as I described earlier, the LM three fifty eight is optimized for that. So it has a common mode input. It includes ground. So uh, driving this all the way down to here, thereby uh, inputting zero volts here won't affect uh, the operation of the uh, amplifier. So the uh, op amp here. So it's it's good for that. So. Anyway, uh, before we uh, demonstrate the zero output operation of this power, this, uh, power supply, the constant voltage section of it, which we're working at the moment, we'll make a few bias measurements here. Like for example, here after the cascaded uh, diodes here, and we'll make a measurement here, or we'll make a few measurements here and there basically. And, uh, and uh, right now, uh, my pot here, this uh, potentiometer here, is fully turned on it's fully all the way here which means that the output here is all the way to its maximum output and as you can see <coughs> my maximum output is about 16.4 volts and uh, you can you can see and then I have a load hooked up which is drawing about uh, 12 milliamps of current and uh, uh, before we continue I'd like to show you I'm using this uh, HP uh, 3457A to measure my, uh, hopefully this is visible, to measure the uh, voltage across the uh, Zener reference. And as you can see, uh, the cascode circuit, uh, the um, constant current circuit, uh, the cascode circuit that we introduced is feeding it constant current. As you can see, it's very stable. The voltage is 6.97, and uh, it's only the last digit that's uh, fluctuating basically, so it's, it's really good, so that circuit uh, introducing that circuit uh, did a lot of good to this um, to the Zener reference because it's feeding it constant current and as you can see here I'll show you it just fell off it's about 11 milliamps of current that it's fed you can see it's uh, it's very stable and uh, there's uh, okay these two meters here are measuring the um, the positive and negative input of that buffer amp this this amplifier here Sorry, <clears throat> so this amplifier here, I just have those two there measuring these two points here just to make sure that uh, my negative feedback is all good because if negative feedback these two points are supposed to be equal so this just gives me as an assurance that uh, my negative feedback is working correctly and you can see that they're both measuring the same uh, voltage 16.4 16.4 .4. and uh, <coughs> sorry this digital scope is measuring uh, uh, the uh, input side of the series pass transistor. So basically, uh, this side here. And uh, channel 2 is measuring the load side. So basically, there you go. And uh, right now, the input is about 20 volts. Since uh, that's what we are fitting it from our, uh, from our power supply. <coughs> well, our input power supply. And uh, the output side of the transistor is 16.4 and you can see the difference here as you can see the top trace is the input voltage the bottom trace is the uh, output side of the transistor and you can see the difference of these two shows us the drop across the uh, series pass transistor and uh, so that's just a, a small uh, small points I'm uh, monitoring and uh, <coughs> here on these two uh, This uh, digital scope here on top here.
That one's also measuring the uh, the input, the uh, the two input voltages here on the sorry the uh, the voltage across uh, this and this again. So just you know, just to so it's basically measuring the same point as as these two uh, meters basically. And this this waveform at the bottom that you see uh, that looks like noise is the difference between the two. I have a math set up where the difference of uh, the two points. I'm measuring the difference using a math waveform. I'm doing this, this minus that, and uh, pretty small. You can see the scale on it is, I think, uh, 10 millivolts. So the difference is pretty small. That's why it, basically that's all noise. So it doesn't doesn't really matter. Okay, and uh, this meter here is measuring my input current. So I feed it through here. So it tells shows me the overall input. Sorry, the overall input current. Okay, all right, so let's make a few measurements. So like we said before, this was supposed to be around 16.6, uh, .6, so one, two, three, four diodes and one LED. So let's just make that measurement. So the uh, the diodes are here. Sorry for the uh, camera not focusing, right? There you go. So one, two, three, four with the, and then if you measure that, there you go, it's about 15.6, uh, seven volts close enough and uh, <clears throat> the if we go onto the other side of the transistor we'll go by 0.7 up so there you go this this is this so the other side will be this side here so if we measure that there you go 16.351 so that's about uh, 0.65 above above uh, 15.6 so that's good and uh, we can measure this I've already shown you on that uh, six and a half digit multimeter, that HP, but uh, we'll measure this with our meter. So there's our uh, zener that I'm using for my reference. So this side will be the uh, the voltage that we can measure, and you can see it's very stable. Six point nine six nine is the uh, the zener reference voltage, and if we measure on on the other side of this remember we had a 2.33 gain so 6.9 multiplied by 2.33 was about 16 volts on this side so we'll go measure there you go our lm358 uh, is right here so one is the output so the output will be on this side here this is one of the feedback resistor so we'll do that there you go that's my output, 16.38, so 16.4 is on the output. Okay, and then going back, so we can measure the input from this pot here, because the pot is fully turned on here now, so the input we can measure at five. Pin five of this IC is on this side here, and then if we measure that, there you go, that's 16.89, and if we measure the other side, which is six, that's the feed. That's the feedback. So that's 16.388. Okay. So pretty much everything is working according to plan. So right now, what I'll do is I will demo the uh, the zero operation of the uh, uh, the uh, power supply. So what I'll do is this is my pot. I'm gonna adjust my potentiometer using my uh, this here. So I'm just gonna turn it, and then I'll just show you the meters. There you go. So if you see this meter, so I'm gonna just dial it down. So I'm even gonna include my load. So there you go. So there you go. It starts going down. I'm I'm just turning it like this. So as you can see. All right. So all the way we're at 14 volts. 13 volts. And as expected, my load current also drops since the voltage across it is dropping because it's a resistor. So as you can see, it's going. So we're gonna have to go all the way down. And if you want to see, you can also see this uh, digital scope here. You can see the input voltage remains, but the uh, the second trace, the bottom trace, as you can see, is going down. And that's the output side, as you, you can see. And if you see the measurement there, you can actually see the measurement there. We're at five volts. And going down. And uh, that dashed line at the bottom is my reference. That's where ground is. As you can see, I'm approaching ground. Going back to the meters here. 
which will get more precision measurement. And you can see going on. So the middle meter is the one that's measuring the output. The top meter, as I described before, is the uh, it's that tap from the uh, from that potentiometer. Sorry, it's measuring that tap there. There you go. It's measuring that. It's measuring this right here. The top meter. Okay, so if I could put my uh, screwdriver back. So here we go again. Let's go down as you can see. We're in millivolts now. Pretty much the output is dead. There you go. So, you can hear my uh, pot fully turned off and it's just clicking. Okay, so that's good. So, as you can see, my Zener reference still remains at uh, 6.9. Right, because that doesn't get adjusted. There you go, and the current still remains the same into it, right? Because that doesn't change. The two sides of that buffer amp, the positive and negative input, they all go to zero. There you go, my output. Yeah, exactly those two points I just showed you, they all zero. My input current drops. My input voltage is still the same. And there you go, my uh, output voltage is dead basically, it's almost zero. And my input voltage is still at 20 volts. And as you can see basically, it's 0.5 millivolts basically, and it's literally zero. So I can I demonstrated that uh, the, this voltage is able to go all the way down to zero. And the neat thing about this uh, LED here is the LED that I'm using to drop down the voltage. We can actually use it as a as an on indicator into the uh, of the power supply so it's gonna serve two purposes so not only is it gonna show uh, it's gonna use to drop the voltage to feed the cascode circuit to bias the the top transistor so basically this this uh, I'm talking about this green LED here it's gonna not only measure the uh, drop down the voltage but it's also gonna allow us to indicate that the power supply is on so, so now we're gonna go measure this side. This side should remain still at 16 volts, right? Because this is constant. It's the top off that we're using that's going to zero. So if I go back and do the measurement here, so that would be uh, pin one. Pin one is right here. And there you go. And the voltage remains still 16.38. Sorry. Moving around, so there we go. There it was 16.4. And then, if I go measure the uh, this pot here, the output to it, it goes to pin five, and then pin five is literally zero. Okay, so we've demoed this circuit, basically, that it can go all the way to zero volts, and that's very desirable and. Uh, in a power, DC power supply. So what I'll do is I'll crank this up again, back up to top, and then we're gonna load. We, we're gonna crank it up to 10 volts, and then we're gonna load it. I'm gonna. I have a, a power transistor here. It's, uh, sorry, a power resistor here, and uh, it's gonna allow me to draw quite a bit of current, about 120 milliamps. So what I'll do is I'll just bump it up to actually about two volts, and I'm gonna put this in parallel. It's hooked up right here. So I'll just move it to here. To this two uh, resistors in parallel and it's gonna load it I think it's about 10 ohms or something like that I'm not sure how big it is but it's pretty big it's gonna draw quite a bit of current so so if you see the uh, I'm gonna show you everything in one shot so just take a look as I do this on the scope the, sc uh, the scope there the voltage will start come up there you go the output side comes up and then I'm actually gonna try to include these meters too if, if I can sorry my hand slipped okay so I'm just gonna continue Ok, 
Okay, so 10 volts is at about there. Okay, so that's 10 volts. So if you see, pretty much half of that. Two divisions down from 20 volts down because we are both on the same scale. And then there you go. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm going to load this by moving this jumper into the next adjacent to it and take a look at the current the voltage and the current the top the middle meter is going to show the output voltage and the bottom meter is going to show us our load current so if i load it there we go sorry the scale went down <clears throat> Sorry, actually the voltage went down as you can see because, uh, sorry, uh, my current limit on my uh, voltage uh, on my input was too much. My current limit was low so kind of the regulation didn't work out well so because of it's the current limit here. So anyway, so going back to here as you can see, let's just uh, set this to this range here, this range here, let's do auto, there you go, 270 milliamps, that's how much I'm drawing. So anyway, going back again, so if I take it off, there you go, current goes drops down to 7 milliamps, my voltage remains constant, boom, goes to 270 milliamps, my, uh, my voltage remains constant. So what I'll do is I'll leave it at 270 milliamps for now, and then what I'll do is I'm going to ramp down my, uh, ramp up my current, my voltage output. As you can see, it's going to able to do voltage goes up my current also goes up as you can see and also I can go down it's pretty stable supply even at heavy loads okay I can start smell something on my resistor so I'm gonna just remove it so yeah anyway so this is the demo that uh, I just wanted to perform really quick on this power supply and uh, this is the constant voltage section of that power supply that uh, we're going to be building. And uh, like I said, going back to our circuit here, we're going to include, we're going to use this R shunt here for uh, high side sensing of our current. So we can introduce a current, constant current operation into this power supply. And once we do that, once the con constant voltage and constant current operations are uh, designed, we will include a bridge rectifier on this side and we're going to select a proper mains transformer and basically we'll make a, a good linear power supply. Uh, currently, I'm just going to give you a quick sneak preview. I'm working on this, uh, this constant current. I'll just really quickly give you in the constant current section of the, uh, the power supply. Alright, thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video.